Welcome to the 2011 Sears Bracket Busters and our first of four games from the Bracket Busters coming your way today on ESPNU. We are at the Nutter Center in Dayton, Ohio, getting set for Wright State and Hofstra. There's another big guy who prefers the perimeter land off the mark on his three attempt. Off the dribble, into the lane for the lane is Mike Moore, the 6'5 junior out of New Haven, Connecticut. Some double digits. That's why the jump shot from Washington is so key. Your first shot of the game, knocked it down. Jenkins, nice hesitation, goes to the left hand for his first points. And some of these teams that we're going to see starting last night and through tomorrow are going to make a run. You don't know who it's going to be, but someone's going to do it. Strong follow from David Imes. Jenkins got 23 points per game. That's his average. you got to go back to him, and he's going to take it to the rim here. Nice play. The double team, Jenkins spins away from it, gives it up to Kelleher looking for three. Got it. Assist to Jenkins. Well, that's a good look. An assist in more ways than just passing the basketball. All the attention that Charles Jenkins demands created that open look. Foul is on Cooper Land, his second. Raiders enjoying their biggest lead of the day. Kelleher, both sides still struggling from downtown. And going to work now on the glass for the pride. And Greg Washington. Shooting well from outside. You might as well back off. Trying to fend the drive without fouling and make him shoot the three. And one inside for David Imes. 82 to 56, the final score. Two of the top teams in their respective conferences. Get ready to do battle. Northern Iowa ready for the hottest team in the country. George Mason is in town. Cornelius from three nails it. Cornelius, deep three, wow! Isaiah Tate on the floor for George Mason. Big three there from Vertrail Vaughns. 16-13, George Mason. James loses it. Morrison to the other end, with two hands. That's Morrison on top. Tate, wide open Cornelius. Wow! Someone hose him down. He is smoking hot. <laughs> Pearson gets it. Muscles it. It goes and he'll go to the line. Against Bradley in their last win on the road. Tied a score record. Hancock wide open three. Top of the key. He was That's hoping they could fix it. Yeah. yeah. Long three for Hancock. The time and score. How much time is on that clock? And make sure that you have it in the hands of people who can beat you off the bounce. They've left Cook hanging out dry a few times in this game. Cornelius caught them in the first half. You better not leave me open like that. Let him operate on a double team. Hancock. Wide open Pearson. Throws it down. 15 for Pearson. Pearson hasn't had his hand on it in a while. We're in Cedar Falls, University of Northern Iowa. Series bracket busters in the corner. Cam Long knocks down the three. Set a screen and explodes to the ball. Moran gives it up. So Moran couldn't find the open man. George Mason with a terrific job defensively. Pearson with two free throws, and he has been great from the line. Neither team with a timeout left. Back to the two-possession game. Final shot. And that's it. George Mason extends its winning streak to 13 in a row. The nation's longest. 77-71, the final score. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.